Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan. It's Friday, November 5th. We're looking at our swing trades. Everything is really looking solid here. You can see our total profit on this is 8,700. And the only adjustment we have to make was $250 for Caterpillar. Otherwise, everything is an original position. The SPX, uh, yesterday also it moved up. Today it's up 10, NQ is up 81. So all of these are going to go up some more. And so what I want to do is FedEx is the only one that's a, just a plain long call and you can look at the profit. Costco, fantastic, made a huge move yesterday, 2800 uh, FedEx, but it's a hedged position. So uh, we are good on that. FedEx is the only one that's kind of exposed. And uh, so I do want to make an adjustment to FedEx uh, today. Let's see what that is. And uh, I want to go into the same, the 3rd December and sell the 250 calls. We're getting you know, somewhere between 4 and 4.30 for this uh, option right now I and mean, it might even go higher. So basically, if you look at the long call, we paid 5.15. So it's, uh, you know, almost turns it into a free trade. Just, uh, uh, I think uh, it'll just be costing us a few cents or about 60 cents or 70 cents. So basically, I want to sell the 250. We'll have a $10 spread over here. And, um, and we can uh, continue to uh, milk this as long as it goes up. So FedEx was a good catch. Uh, I think it was, it was beaten down and uh, uh, we caught it properly. Google, once again, uh, you know, great trade, 1750 here. Goldman Sachs is the only one sulking and that's because the financials are sulking uh, after uh, Fed uh, chairman's uh, comments about uh, uh, the uh, uh, tapering uh, uh, that starts. So uh, yeah, that's gonna affect the financials a little bit, but doesn't matter, Goldman Sachs will bounce back. And uh, so Netflix also pulled back a little bit yesterday, quite a bit actually, and gave up uh, some profit, but it's still in the green. Uh, Shopify made a big move and it's good. SPX, I want to re uh, rearrange this. So basically what we want to do is, uh, it, because it's getting a little close to the call side. So, I, and, uh, and what I'm thinking is on SPX, uh, we will even move it uh, to the next expiry. So which is the Wednesday. So if you look at, if you look at it over here, uh, we have the Wednesday here and uh, and of course we you know we'll be closing all of this so basically what I have is the 4650 4645 and then the 4740 4745 and this will be the Wednesday expiry once again we're getting about um, what do you call uh, 160 so uh, that should be about 16 percent ROI there and of course we'll book this loss of 200 here so we'll take the loss of 200 uh, Tesla moved up nicely also still should move up today so no other adjustments except FedEx and SPX. And uh, being a Friday, we've got enough trades. So let's let these run. And I thought we'll take off some of these trades today, being a Friday. But uh, now, given that the futures are up nicely, 10 and 78, uh, I think we're going to uh, pick up some more profits today. So let's keep all the positions open. Uh, the only adjustment is FedEx and SPX. And no new trade today. We'll take a look at everything on Monday. And we'll uh, cycle through and cash in some of these profits then. Have a nice weekend, everyone. Thanks.